This is ABC's World News Now. Hello to our fans online. I'm Dan Pfeffler. And I'm Rena Nine. And with the top stories on this Tuesday, September 16th, we begin with the international public health threat getting presidential attention today, the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. President Obama is visiting the Centers for Disease Control today, where he'll announce stepped up efforts to combat the spread of the Ebola virus. Those include assigning 3,000 troops to fight in West Africa, as well as the, the con construction of 17 clinics, each capable of treating up to 100 patients. Scientists are saying that the virus is even more dangerous as it begins to mutate, making it more contagious. A dozen major wildfires burning across California have driven thousands of people from their homes. The latest fire erupted in the tiny northern town of Weed near Mount Shasta. It destroyed or damaged 100 homes and burned a church to the ground. Powerful winds fanned the flames, shutting down the main freeway between California and Oregon. Urban Outfitters is apologizing for selling a Kent State University sweatshirt that critics say mocks the bloody attack in 1970 that killed four students. The retailer says it was part of its, quote, sun-faded vintage collection and that the red stains evocative of natural wear and fray. But Kent State students and staff say it's painfully obvious that's not what Urban Outfitters was intending on Twitter. The store says, quote, it was never our intention to allude to the tragic events that took place at Kent State in 1970. The retailer says the shirts are no longer available for sale and they will be destroyed. Finally, what you are looking at is called bubble soccer. And some colleagues from our affiliate in Seattle, Como, seem to have a pretty great time playing it. Those inflatable bubbles they were wearing, more than enough protection from the usual contact that goes along with playing the game. We're told it has a growing following there in the great Northwest and that the game has been played for a while in other countries as well. I would love to play that. Sign us up. Absolutely. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm Dan Pleffler. Thanks for watching. This is ABC's World News Now. Available anytime, anywhere you want it. More Americans choose ABC News to see the whole picture.